day, day one, we are on men's wave. Conditions are looking epic and they've just done the draw and there's some pretty interesting uh, heats there. Baptiste, have you been practicing poso? Not much, I arrive uh, this night at two. And so uh, who do you think you might end up getting? You any ideas? I don't know, I'm, I'm in the first round. I don't know why. But... You think you're in the first round? Because surely you're seeded because you're high, no? But I'm in the first round. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. you're the first heat. Yeah. Cool, man. First heat. Yeah, first heat. Let's go. Let's see. All right, mate. Good luck. In second place in the world right now, Baptiste Claret in the first heat. Antoine, Yo. another good one I want to talk to. I've never seen it ever before, but you man landed the biggest bat loop back on the wave I've ever seen. <laughs> Not intentional, I guess. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to start riding and then claim it was a wave. Yeah, I, I, actually I tried, but it's uh, still a bit of port and you wave even if it's super unsure. But uh, yeah, I was, I was surprised myself. Right? When I was in the air, I saw the landing. I was like on the white water. So I said, okay, let's let's try to plant it, and it happened. So. <laughs> yeah. oh! oh my! <laughs> life. Yes, that's what we want to see. Oh, hello. Very close now between Clarek and Dunkerbeck when that wave score drops for Dunkerbeck. Dunkerbeck, I think, has just taken out Baptiste Clarek in the second round. Alessio Stilwich will go against Ricardo Campello in the next round. We've got some interesting heats coming up in this next round, and then there are going to be some very interesting heats in the round after. But leading the heat on the other side of the draw is definitely Friedel. Friedel, solid on the jump. Here you got through, and now you're up against Mr. Costa. Yeah, like uh, not uh, not a not a good present, but uh, well, well, it's a good present in as much as this is the best time ever to face him, no? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know uh, really. Like I think uh, I would prefer to have a <laughs> lower guy, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I will I will go full power like always, and uh, yeah, I will try to do as as best as I can what I what I can do. Here he is, man on a mission. Unfortunately, he's got the best guy here, probably. Marino up next, is it? Yeah, I've got Marino next. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go do what I can do. I mean, I sailed a pretty decent heat in the last one. I was not doing everything that I could do because I couldn't find a push loop forward ramp, but hopefully in this one I'll, yeah. I'll find one. You can get in his head. Um, so, just apart from Marino, who else has been really good today that you've seen? Uh, Philip, Brown and Ricardo, like pretty much those guys. I, actually, Mark sailed a good heat, but I wasn't really watching, but I watched all the Brown heats and he, he's been really solid. And Philip, I just saw one heat, but he did like four things and that was enough. So. Yeah, cool. All right, man, you're up soon. Good luck. Thanks, mate. Swift, Marino, Danel, Costa. OK, we got five seconds. This will be fireworks.
Marino, though, he is on an absolute tear. There is one thing that could be a problem for him, because if he wins this and Costa wins it, he will go against Costa in the next round. On the other side of the draw, guess what? Jules de Nau has just overtaken Costa. Jules, yeah. I told you you could do it. So I'd be, yeah, exactly. Really, I, I, I was thinking about what you say before. I was like, maybe it's the, it, maybe it's the time, you know? <laughs> when he started crashing, I thought, it was going to happen. Right, Fuck, I'm so happy. Now you've got the next hard guy. I go, I go, I go, focus. Focus, focus. focus, focus. Reno, yeah. mate, you're on, you're on your way. Now it's Jules now. I'm trying, yeah. I will do my best again against you now, so let's see how it goes. <laughs> All right, man, just keep going big and land your moves, I guess. Yeah, I will try that. I just try to keep constant and do my best. Thank you. Okay, man. Good luck. <laughs> Straight up to the next round, Paré versus Fernandez. Two team riders going head to head, and then Marsilio Brandt has oh a massive at the back. God. Who was that? That was Antoine Brandt. So Paré and Brown into the next round. I think that is official. Marino Gill is in the top four, and he's going against Ricardo Campello to see who will be in the single elimination final. to the beach I haven't seen you but you yeah. made the semis man that's yeah. impressive how's it going yeah good I'm uh, I'm happy to make it to the semis a little bit upset not to make this hit but uh, yeah. I mean at least uh, now that I didn't make it to the winners final I want to try and uh, and make, and be third you know so yeah, yeah. yeah looking forward to do my best Man, you made a final epic. I can't believe it. I think it's the best day of my life for sure. Like, well, you've still got to sail a final. Did you know you needed another jump? Yeah, yeah. I, like I, I've been like for seven minutes looking for it. I tried another push forward and it didn't work. And I didn't expect that. I just needed a bike loop like that. I'm super happy. <laughs> He actually did take the lead ahead of Brown, but we're waiting for that push forward to drop. It's a six, seven, eight, so he wins it by point four. Amazing, finally again against your young Goya teammate. How was it sailing with him? Oh man, Marino's been ripping for years and it was just a matter of time until he made it to the finals. And uh, I knew treating him a final with him is like same as going out against Victor or Philip, or you just got to uh, throw everything you have. And it was a big change. Like in the morning, it was a lot easier to line things up and waves. And now the dead low tide is really choppy and hard to find a good moment with the waves. Marino, just a quick word, man. You made the final. You sailed amazing. You were so close to taking Brazinho out. But 
It's only a single, you've still got the double. How is it? Yeah, like, I'm a little bit pissed. I didn't know it was that close, but I mean, for sure, we still have the double and I will go for it. Like, I already lost last year again, Brown, and I don't want to lose again. So let's see. Third time lucky. So there we go, winner of the single elimination, Marsilio Brown. But he was pushed super hard by Marino Gill, 20 years old, local boy. We're going to be seeing more of him in the future. Uh, third place, pushing hard for that world title this year, Ricardo Campello taking down an all-firing Mark Paré. But it's not over. We have got the double elimination coming up, and this is a chance where everyone gets to fight their way back to see if maybe they can still steal the crown. But first, a word from our sponsors. <laughs> Yes, Pozo wins, still supporting the work we do over in Pozo. Massive thanks to those guys. And uh, let's get in to the double elimination. Second day of Pozo. I've literally just recovered from yesterday's epic men's single elimination. The double is up on the board. The double started, Adam. Uh, who have you got next? I'm going against Sami Ferrero from uh, Italy. And yeah, I mean, there's... There is some waves, some wind, so yeah, let's hope for the best. Who can make the most of it, I guess, that's the game. You yeah. look like you enjoyed yesterday. I really enjoyed the conditions yesterday. I didn't quite do as good as I would like to, but anyways, it's competition, so hopefully now it's my, my time. <laughs> Oh, there's a double. Sugi. There we go. That's what we want to see in a life. All these things I want to be, I never know what I will need. So show me everything you see. I'll let you go, I'll let you be. I find it out, let it go. Everything left in my soul. I never know if I will find a way to live, a way to die. Feel like it's got to change. All the things I never said. I believe it's killing me. So let me go, just let me be. All I'm saying is. Okay, Henry, you've just uh, sailed the last heat of the day, which was against uh, Baptiste, winner of the last event, and you managed to sneak it. Uh, yeah, I'm super happy. I've always, well, I've never won a heat in the men's event. Uh, it was always close, um, always close losses, and uh, I knew my time would come, um, and I'm really happy to finally, to finally win, and then to win against world number two. Um, it feels cool, but like the conditions are super tough, and um, yeah, I, I don't want to say I'm better than him, but I beat him in these conditions. So. Do you know who you got next? Uh, Jake, yeah. I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to that. Like, we've known each other for a while. We've been, we used to be teammates in hot sails. Uh, yeah, we used to stay here all the time together. So to finally sail against the Mahid, like, I'm really looking forward to that. Mark Paré, are you What's ready for the comeback? Yeah. I mean, you're in fourth, so it's not like a comeback, but you never know. If you're in fourth, then you need to win one, two, three, five heats. Yeah. Dual. I'd like to. In, in fairness. You like these conditions? Yeah. Anything. <laughs> Anything. When you're going to be competing here, how many years? Um, I don't know. How old do you think you'll be? Huh? Twelve. Twelve, okay. Twelve, that's right. there you go, you heard it here. Ready? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's actually good today, doesn't it? So I think once the tide starts coming in, it'll be fun.
I'm gonna test it now, but probably 3.7 or 4.0 and my small bar. But I've got everything ready, so. Okay, man. You look way more prepared than he does. Well, I, I maybe have to. I, I mean, I really want to beat him, so I'm just trying everything I can. Whoever wins this is gonna have bragging rights. They'll be 1 0 up, is that right? It's gonna be pretty bad, yeah. Well, that's not the attitude. Surely you're gonna take him down. What are you gonna go out on? Well, the bragging's gonna be bad, I mean, for the, whoever wins, but we'll see. These are his conditions. We'll see what happens. All right, man. Good luck. Okay, I've just spoken to Jake. He's not. He sounds nervous, man. Are you up for this? Uh, yeah, for oh, sure. But I'm nervous as well. I don't want to lose. But yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that heat. Like it's been a very long wait. The whole the whole week we've been waiting, and we finally get the conditions. And I'm just looking forward to it. The Maui boys. Well, not the Maui boys. One's German, but he stayed with Shetaway when he went there. So Kohlberg, Henry Kohlberg on the Nash, going against Jake Shetaway. Away going against uh, Costa in the next round. Okay, you beat Henry, but then you got to go against Mr. Costa. How was that? That was that was challenging. Break your board or something? What happened? Uh, I broke the yeah I broke the fin actually on the landing because usually my mast is touching and I get a soft landing but this time the mast didn't touch so it landed good though yeah big. yeah I was like I, I was like super happy with my with my jump it's pretty hard out there I was struggling quite a lot again wave riding uh, just didn't get any moves on the waves actually it was just like riding as long as possible but yeah it's pretty tiny. But I'm happy with my jumps and yeah, let's. I hope I make the next round and traverse next. Keep going, traverse the next. Yeah, and he's obviously really good riding, so I'm a little bit worried. But yeah, I think I can still do it. Maybe if I'm lucky. So. Swift so close, but it's Costa that goes through, and Alessio Stilrich, he's going against. Thomas Traversa in this one. He's going to go for it, double. Galesio Stilrich that goes through. But it looks to me like Adam Vargel and Josef Pons will go into the next round. The comeback kid, all the way from the first round, still in the double. Yeah, still in the double, hopefully. Uh, I mean, I wish I can make some more hits. I mean, it's super fun. Uh, really hard to jump, but yeah, we will try to do the best. I'll tell you what, that massive stall double out back, that was pretty impressive, right? Thank you, yeah, I'm trying to do it. I wanted it in the first jump, but it's, it was a shop or something, and but it, I was lucky and I found another wave, because you need the wave. Who have you got next? I don't know, I just go. <laughs> got through that heat but how's the foot holding up yeah well the heat was very fun uh, at least now after the whole week of a break my foot feels uh, better it's not on point yet but uh, yeah it feels way better than in the single illumination you think you can have a bit of a comeback now well hopefully uh, now the first heat went well it didn't really hurt much on the water so hopefully the next ones keep the same all right man good luck <laughs> biggest jumps on the first run I've seen. Was it planned? Yeah, yeah, totally planned. Uh, usually, you know, my, my mistake in Pozo is not doing uh, enough doubles uh, during my hits. So this year I was like, I'm definitely not going to lose because of a double. So I went, uh, I went big for this one. 
and yeah, we came tight uh, with Alessio and he won by uh, with his wave because he had he had the highest score wave. So that's that's how it is, you know. And uh, on to the next round uh, for him and uh, me. I'm uh, I'm ready for the next contest already, you know. In my mind, uh, very impressive. Thank you. Thank you very much. Finally, getting some results, mate. Traversa yeah, out of the way, Antoine Martin. That was a really solid heat. Cheers, man. Yeah, actually, we were tied, but luckily, like, I've had a couple of ties already before, but I always lost because the other guy had the biggest wave, so this time I finally had the biggest wave, so I'm pretty stoked about that. <laughs> Seven, one, two for that wave from Costa. He doesn't do much below sixes, does he, on the wave? It's going to be Leon Jammer and uh, Philip Costa, from what I can see. I can't see that changing. A good fight on the jumps from Alessio. Costa is a war, injured or not, or coming back from injury or not. He's still a machine. Who would you rather face, Costa or Leon? Yeah, whatever, guns, guns. I'm just gonna give it all, no matter what. So, let's go. <laughs> so he's going well. And the uh, backside 360 from Paré. This looks a much better wave right now. What a result, Mark Paré has just taken down Philip Costa. Well done. Uh, thank you very much. I'm really happy. Finally challenging with the big boys, Ricardo next. Yeah, Ricardo's next. I'm uh, fired up. I really want to fight for that podium right now. I'll try my best for sure. I will try to defend my position and for sure keep building it. Who would you rather face, Paré, Ricardo? I don't know, I just want to get them, I don't care who is it, and just say my best and try to keep going. with a better double than his first one. One-handed mark, he's flowing right now, Pare. So 30 seconds, Ricardo, what does he need? He needs a bloody miracle, is what he needs. OK, Mark, this is it, this is your moment. Amazing, beating Ricardo. So stoked, man, like, it, it feels good to claim it back from him after the single, you know, it was a close final, and, uh, you know, it feels amazing, you know. Like, this is where I wanted to be, at least in the podium, and, you know, from here on, it's just, let's just try and scrape as many positions as I can. Marino Gill, fair play. I mean, you cannot fault that fella. Yeah. He has he, absolutely he was, uh, he was stormed it. What size are you going on, Browsy? Uh, probably take 4-2, I think, but just keep me an eye on everything because it's changing a lot. But 4-2, I think. Uh, next generation are coming, man. I remember when you were a kid taking them down, now it's these guys. So are you up for the challenge? I had to be, right? <laughs> He might get another opportunity. There he does. He's it's big. It. It's clean. <laughs> I think that's enough. I honestly think that's enough. That, that is enough to change this tie on its head. Marino forces a sail off the super final. Okay, man, you just won the double elimination and now you get the super final against Brazinho. He said he was going to take on the challenge, but you, you beat him once. Do you reckon you can do it again? 
Uh, I will try for sure. Like, I'm just on my way and I will try to do it again. So let's see how it goes. When you have to work for it, it feels so much better. Marsilio Brown is the Pozo champion of 2023. Oh. He knows it. He punches the sky. That will feel even I get better. The Super Caddy's version of it first. Uh, Robbie, you've been caddying there for Browsey. That looked like a couple of close finals. Yeah, it was a couple of close finals. I mean, the waves are really, really difficult, I think. And um, and the first one, I, you know, I think he was maybe going a little bit too hard trying to do the push forward. And that one, he sailed a little bit more of a solid heat, kind of setting the bar a bit lower for expected. But I mean, I think uh, in both the hits he sailed really well. Marina sailed really well in the first one, and the second one he just couldn't find the wave to do the stuff. So, like, two super talented people, and they both did well. Next generation are coming, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they're definitely coming up, aren't they? The next generation. Yeah, no, it's cool. It's cool to see. It's fun. Marina um, was pretty much a standout the whole way through. And, uh, you know, I mean, Philip's still next generation too, isn't he? But yeah, no, it's fun. And Mark, too. Mark sailed really well. Mark sailed amazingly. It was nice to see Mark get through all those heats. I was sad for Ricky, but Mark uh, deservedly got third place. Congratulations, Thank well so done, much. bro. Enjoy that. Yeah, it was hard. It was hard to find waves and uh, scary to watch all those guys ripping so hard. And I was just trying to use the opportunities that came to me and stoked. Yeah, well done. Thank Good job. So there we go, Marsilio Brown getting the win here in Pozo. And that is his first ever win in Gran Canaria. Crazy, it's been a long time coming and thoroughly deserved, but he was pushed all the way by the local kid, 20 years old, Marino Gill. He is definitely gonna be a force to be reckoned with in the future. Well, now he took Marsilio Brown all the way to that super final. Crazy, amazing sailing from the young kid. Third place, his first ever podium in Gran Canaria. Mark Paré, and he moves up into second place in the title race. Uh, and not forgetting, Ricardo Campello in fourth now leads the world title challenge. Oh, oh you just got some practice today, old correct.
play hard. That's what we do, yeah. Just getting funny. Yeah. a bit raggedy when normally he's quite free. Yeah, maybe it's just the wind. So there we go, I hope you liked that. It was a bit of a mission to put all those videos together, but that is the last one in the series from Pozo. And just want to say a massive thanks to you guys at home. The beer money, uh, you know, the brands that support the channel, that is why those videos happen. That is where the money comes from, to pay Alfie to do an amazing job. He has worked his balls off on that series. So I hope you liked it. Massive thanks to you guys over there or over there, whichever which side you are. Uh, but like I said, you guys are making the channel happen. Stay tuned. We're going back to normal now. Podcast and send it Sundays and all that good stuff. Enjoy. Enjoy.